Okay, looks like we're having some, let me, can everybody hear me? Can you hear me clearly? Fancy, can you hear me? Eunice, can you hear me? Good, Mr. Ayala. So if, if one person can hear me because I can see my audio is on. So Tonya, you know, no matter how close you put it to your head, if you're not hearing, you're not hearing. Okay. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get started so that I can, we can be able to um, get some work done here. Okay, so um, how many of you would say that you have reached a point with your assignment that you think, all right, I have arrived. Let me pull up a few of these that I have here so that we can talk about, we can start talking about those of you that are online pending when your cousins and brothers and sisters and family members and whatever you want to call those people um, are when they join us. So let me start with the first person that posted because we have to follow things in a specific order. So fancy, let me go back to you again you're always by you're always the first to post which is a very good thing um you're always on time so well done there eh? you pass exam so you said your mission is to inspire and empower people through my work which is affordable housing and values godly principles to inspire and empower that sounds that still sounds like a vision it's where you are inspiring to go it's where you're trying to get to you're speaking about you're speaking futuristically to inspire and empower people through your work okay so fancy let me make this very very quick and i'll take what it is that you've posted here could your vision statement be to inspire and empower people towards affordable housing and godly values or godly principles, whatever you want to call it. To inspire and empower people through godly principles and the provision of affordable housing. You know, those are, you, you can use any of that. That is more like where you're trying to aspire to. Um, the issue of you, here you said your vision is to contribute to the development of a stronger family system and nation. Contributes to the development of a stronger family. It, it, it's not, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it's not measurable. All right, it's not measurable. Um, you can say, if that is what you want your vision to be, you can rephrase both of them. Um, if that's what you're trying to say, then you can say your vision is the development, or rather, you know, to see the establishment of stronger family systems in the nation, in the nation, or, um, yeah so if you want to do it around the family because it sounds like you're talking about family so contribute instead of saying contribute to the stronger development of to the development of a stronger family system and nation why not say um your ultimate vision is your ultimate vision from what i can see here is to develop or to 
strengthen the family units in a nation, basically to strengthen families. Am I, is that right? Please correct me if I'm wrong. So it's to strengthen families. So your vision is to strengthen families, but what you are using for those, your tools are housing and values. So yeah. instead of flipping them, you can actually say your mission statement is to inspire or, or empower and take out the inspire part. When you say inspire, it's a little bit of futuristic. Mm -hmm. Or just say empowering people through affordable housing Mm, it's 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 wordplay. Okay, 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 okay. So you can say inspiring people through godly values. You can say inspiring people through godly values and empowerment. Inspiring through godly values. inspiring inspiration for god inspiration comes from values empowerment is through housing so two things you want to inspire by godly values so you can say the inspiration of people inspiring people by providing affordable housing mm. fancy let's let's not waste time too much on this let's get back if we if we don't finish this fancy call me back you need to call me back after the call so that we can spend a little bit more time on this one uh, all right sir because there are two things you're trying to say number one there's the inspiration aspect of it which has to do with godly values and then number two it has to do with empowerment through the afford affording so strengthening families through you can say your vision your mission is to strengthen family units through the provision of affordable housing and godly values that's what you're looking for that's what we're looking for for a mission statement providing or in or rather just empowering families listening please get this in mm -hmm. empowering families through the provision of affordable housing and the values you're talking about you said godly principles yeah. mm. so you can take that out I, I i don't see that the role that that plays in it plays a role but i think really what you want your goal is to empower families or to inspire you want to use godly values as a platform for inspiration but really where your focus has to be is the where your work is or what you're giving people is mm -hmm. empowerment through housing or which is your work which is through housing so you want to say um your vision or your, i'm sorry your mission is strengthening family units or empowering family units by the provision of affordable housing units or affordable housing units or, or affordable housing okay mm. so mm. you want to leave it there keep it simple the other values and other things they are all components of the big picture so what you're doing is empowering if you want to say empowering people or emp empowering family units whatever way you feel you want to phrase it through the provision of affordable housing affordable housing that if you feel the need that you want to add 
um, godly values, you can do that, or godly principles. That is your call. It's all semantics. But what you want to focus is, is an action word. So you are empowering people through affordable housing, empowering individuals through, by the, through affordable housing, and inspiration by godly values. If that's how you want to put it, that makes sense. That simply says what it is that you're working towards, who it is that you're working with, and what it is that you're giving them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So play around with that word, phrase it that way, it makes more sense. With the vision statement, you say contribute to the development of a stronger nation. Um, contribute. Yes, you are contributing. So um, it's, da, da, da. building. Strengthening the nation by the development of a stronger family system. You can say your vision is to strengthen, is to strengthen the family unit because you're talking about stronger, or you're talking you can either talk about strengthening or developing the family unit or a developed family unit because you're looking you want it's a picture you're trying to create of the future so you can say my vision statement is to be a developer of a stronger family unit within the nation or a stronger family system within the nation all right so yeah. You, how do you personalize that is where you need to come up. So what you're trying to do is to strengthen, your goal is to strengthen the family unit mm -hmm. as your own contribution to your nation. So what you're trying to say is to strengthen or develop the family system or the family unit in your nation. Okay, so um, in that context, what are you? Are you like the developer? Are you, um, you know, what exactly is it that you're trying to see yourself be in that picture? Because from what I understand here and what I hear is that your passion is to strengthen families, to, but your tool is real estate or housing or shelter. So it doesn't really matter if it is the orphanages that you're, you're building or if it is um, the real estate properties that you're selling. At the end of the day, your real estate is only a tool that you're using to strengthen the family units within the nation. So I will say, if I'm to go back to the mission statement again, so your mission is to provide affordable housing as a platform, to, you know, you can, you're, you're offering affordable housing um, to people within your nation, okay? So providing affordable housing, or, or like we said earlier, empowering people through affordable housing and godly values. Just leave it that way. I think that's what you're looking for. Empower people through affordable housing and godly values. That's the statement, that's your mission statement from what I'm hearing. But you don't take my word for it. This is, we're just playing with words now, but if that makes sense to you, if that tells you what your passion is, if that's what you believe you're doing, then that's the statement you're looking for then ultimately your vision is a strengthened or a stronger family unit, um, you know, um, or the development or a developed family unit or a developer of a strengthened family unit within the nation. Okay, so you as an individual, you want to become a developer of a strong or stronger family unit within the nation, okay? Does that make sense? One talks about what you're doing, the other one talks about where you're going. Do yeah. you understand what I'm trying to say? So the word developer has to do, most times when we use the word developer, sometimes we're talking about technology, we're talking about real estate. So ultimately, you want to become a developer of a strong family unit within the nation. That's all. That's your goal. A developer of a strong family unit within the nation or family system within the nation, okay? Because anybody, well, so basically the area of family is your, is your focus. That is where you really want to stay focused on. So I will say rephrase that a little bit. Your assignment is to empower people through the provision of affordable housing and godly values, period. 
then yeah. what you want to end up as is a developer of strong family units within the nation. Does that make sense? Is that simple yes, enough? Yes, okay. sir. So please work on that and try to post that today. All right, sir. Work on that and post that today. So the next person here, Eunice. Mission statement, inspiring, promoting, and nurturing a healthier populace. Inspiring, promoting, and nurturing a stronger populace. Vision, nurturing dreams, and making global impact. Eunice, I'm going to be gentle on you because you, I see you're carrying your baby at your back today. So, so um, let's, let, let's, let's uh, we're looking for tangibles. Okay, so you want to inspire, promote, nurture a healthier populace. How? How? How are you doing that? That is what we're looking for. How you're doing it. How you're doing it. So, um, what you're looking, okay, you're trying, you're trying to accomplish a healthier populace. Yes. But what are you using for the inspiration, the promoting and the nurturing? Does that make sense, Eunice? What are you using? I mean, what are you using to inspire people? What are you using to promote and nurture the populace? What is it? That thing, what are you doing? The mission statement has to do a lot with your actionable items. What are the things you're doing? What is the tool you're using? We just talked about, we just used, um, um, what's her name? Uh, Francis own for an example, we said that she's using real estate as a means of strengthening the family unit, meaning that she's providing affordable housing and using godly values as a tool to develop and strengthen the family unit. Then at the end of the day, the picture she wants to accomplish or the picture she wants to see of herself is to be known as someone who was a developer of a strong family unit using um, real estate. So in your case here, I'm looking, I see that you want to inspire, you want to promote, you want to nurture a healthier populace. How? What are you using? So let's talk about this real quick, units, because I, I really want us to sort this out before we, I, I need to, we need to talk about this. Okay, we've lost her now. She's... Sir. You say what? True agriculture, sir. Good. So you want to say inspiring, promoting, inspire and to prom inspire. Um, you I want to say providing or you want to say inspiring, promoting and nurturing a healthier populace through agriculture. Period. Yes. Okay. Good. Then your vision, you said nurturing systems, nurturing dreams and making global impact. I don't understand. Mabinu. <laughs> hmm? What does that mean? Your nurturing dreams. What 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 is, I, I, I don't so wait, when you say nurturing dreams and making global impact, what, what does that mean? Okay, so that is where, so at least we, we have a vision statement. We have a mission statement of what you're doing. You believe that your area of focus. Okay, so, so let me ask you this question. Yes, sir. Um, at the end, let's say 50 years from now, let's say 50 years from now, what do you want to be remembered for? Providing good... Um food feeding the nation sir okay okay yes okay not just in nigeria but nations okay yes sir. so as you're feeding the nations what are you trying to accomplish through the process are you is there something you're trying to hunger okay eradicating hunger okay <laughs> mm.
Okay. So inspiring, promoting, and nurturing. Inspiring, promoting, and nurturing a healthier populace through agriculture. Um, nurturing dreams. Making global impact. I don't understand the global impact pieces. Um, so do you want to say a, so your vision is to nurture dreams by to nurture dreams by eradicating poverty on a global scale because you're trying to address the issue of hunger that's what you're saying you're trying to help people accomplish their goals and their dreams so Instead of saying nurturing dreams and making global impact, when you say making global impact, it doesn't mean anything. It's just semantics, it's just words. But you can say nurture dreams by, how, how did I phrase it just now? Did you hear what I just said? Your, your line is muted. Your line is muted. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Eunice, can you hear me? Eunice, please go ahead. I can hear you. All right. Hello, sir. Yes, I can hear you, Eunice. You said not your dreams by eradicating hunger. Okay. Globally. Okay. So nurturing dreams through the eradication of hunger globally. So that says a lot. There are some keywords that you should use. Always remember some keywords are very important for your industry. So in your case, when we talk about food, we're talking about hunger. The word nurture, using words like nurture. We've lost her. When she gets back, we'll talk about that a little bit. Okay. So using words like nurture um, are very important for that industry. So you're saying nurturing dreams through the eradication of poverty, of the eradication of hunger globally. Does that make sense? So you are focused on that, but what you're using as a tool is agriculture. So you're saying you are inspiring, promoting, and nurturing a healthier populace through agriculture. But your vision is to nurture dreams. Where you're hoping to get to is to nurture dreams through the eradication of hunger globally. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, Eunice? Okay. Let me just write it here so that she will see it. So vision is nurturing to, to nurture dreams. Dreams through the eradication of hunger globally. Okay, so that the mission is 
mission statement is inspiring, promoting, and keyword nurturing a healthier populace through agriculture. Okay? So Eunice, did you see what I just wrote? So you can take that as a starting point. You can take that as a starting point to start building on things that you're working on. So let me go in here and respond to this. Reply. So um, fancy, what do we say about yours? We said your vision is to be a developer of strong family systems in the nation. Your mission is um, where is it again? Empowering, empowering families, empowering families, or empowering people. Remember, just it wasn't just people. Empowering people through what? the provision of affordable housing of affordable housing and godly values right yeah. okay so that gives you something to start playing with. Um, look at that very closely, both of you. And if it gives you everything that you believe, if it is something that you think you're passionate about, then that might be a good point to start. All right, so Tonya, you said your mission statement is to become one of the leaders in providing to become your, your that is a vision already to become one of the leaders in providing security solutions for the age we live in, specifically in the banking, communication, oil, gas, hotel, and the government sectors. My vision is to become a renowned specialist security consultant, to be renowned, to be renowned with, by the industries I serve and the government sectors. Okay, you're saying a lot of things, okay? If you ask me, Tonya, let's just keep it simple. What I hear you saying, and please remember, for those of you on this line, please remember that the things I'm saying, they are not final. Remember, it is your vision. It is your life. It is your mission. You have to come up with a statement that makes sense. I'm taking what you said. I'm using what you said to try and put it in a way that it will make sense to somebody else listening to you. But feel free. Feel free to take what I'm saying, play around with the words, and if all I'm saying does not make any sense to you, feel absolutely free to convert that into something that makes sense to you. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Because it is your life, it is your vision, it is your mission. This is what you are trying to accomplish. So, Tonya, I will say, from what I'm hearing you say, um, what I'm hearing is the provision or let me see to become one of these providing security solutions um so providing security solutions for we're talking about age so providing
advanced solution security solutions for the for banking communication oil and gas hotel and the government sectors um so basically you have to be a little bit more either you're specific or you're generic whichever it is so providing solutions but tonya still remember that this sound this is sounding more like a business mission statement okay so if that's what you believe your focus is supposed to be that's fine so instead of putting it that way why not just say um providing advanced security solutions to the public to public to 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 private and public enterprises Okay. providing advanced security solutions to private and public enterprises. Your mission is to become a leading or to become a leader or a leading provider or to become a leading da -da -da. consultant in the security sector okay so no 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 i have it backwards i have this backwards so i'm going to delete this Let me delete it for everyone. Okay. So Tonya, what I'm hearing you say is that your mission and your vision, I wrote them backwards. So to become, become a leader or a leading consultant, consult, consultant, in the security sector. Because all the things you're saying, becoming a specialist security consultants to be renowned by the industry, you serve government sector for professional advice. Those are things that will come out. Those are just things that will come out from being a leading consultant in the security sector. Once you become a leading consultant in the security sector, they'll come to you for professional advice right they will know you in the industry so all those things are fluff what are you shooting for to become a leading consultant in the security sector period okay keep it simple you know hard we too we like too much grammar for nigeria that's part of our problem hmm? mission provide you can say providing or provide advanced security solutions to private and public enterprises that's it whether it is banking whether it is hotel whether it is government what you're offering them is security solutions that is all you're trying to say okay so keep it simple for three of you on the line take what i have said today um and go work on it and as you work on it you know uh oh no 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 cancel Okay, am I still on this call? I think I'm on the call. Yes, I am still on the call. I haven't abandoned my people yet. All right. So, I'm going to unmute the line. Since it is four of you, I like calls like this. There are not too many people. I can give you all an exam today that will help you pass to level 500. But, um, 
Let me not do that for the sake of God. All right, all. Okay, I've unmuted all your lines. So if you have any questions you want to talk about, let's talk now, the lines are open. Any questions, any things you want to discuss right now? Yes, no? Okay. Okay, so now, for those four of you, I saw Marlon on the line. I don't know what happened to him. I know he's probably shuttling between um, his work. So for those of you who are here now, let me ask you this question. Does the statement that we kind of like put together, does it give you a little, does it sum up some of the things that you're thinking, things you want to do? For me, it does. Okay. Do you, is there anything missing that needs to be added to it? No. No? Or you just don't want to work on it? For fancy? now. Fancy, For you now. don't want to work on it because I, I, I know you, you like shortcut where well. For now, doctor. For now. Okay. Tony, what about you? Mr. Yala, does that give you what you need? All these reverse people, you not hear what I'm saying. Mr. Yala, can you hear me? Okay, I'll, I'll leave this matter there. All right, um, I will assume you have what you need to work. Um, those of you on the line, you can just take your time off. I mean, we're pretty much done. So if, what I will now encourage you to do is that work on that, spend some time and think through. Um, let me make a note of you. So we've done Tony, VNL. Okay. So we're done with Tony. Fancy, you say you're good? Yeah. Okay. Um, Eunice, does it's that address asked. yours or you need to work on it a little bit more? No, it, uh, it has addressed it, sir. Are you sure? It's, don't try and be like Fancy, or they're looking for shortcuts. <laughs> so it's very okay, sir. So you think that that will address these are the questions that I want to ask. I want to ask each of you to think about the statements that we've come up with, both the mission statement and the vision statement. Do you see yourself, if to, if tomorrow, say um, Eunice, tomorrow, um, or maybe ten years from now, um, someone introduces you as a woman who is a nurturer of dreams, focused on and has done a great job eradicating poverty around the world, or, or impacting lives or addressing the issue of poverty, you know, around the world. Is, is that something that you'd be happy with? Is that would you be content with that, or would you feel something is missing? I will feel contented, sir. Okay, good. Yes. Those, that is what I want each of you to think about when we are working through this. You have to think about the fact that, okay, I, and, and please remember this, this is very critical. Your vision might expand over time. Your mission will evolve over time, but the base remains the same. And if you find yourself at any point where you feel like, okay, um, there's a little bit more to who I am, there's more of my interest, then I will encourage you to start working towards adding that or incorporating it into your statement. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Mm. All right, good. So um, here's what I will do. I will now ask you, remember you have your goals that we were trying to work on from the beginning of the year, the things that you've been working on and you are interested in doing. 
Now, I want to encourage you to go back and look at those, your goals, and start working towards aligning those goals. Start working towards aligning those goals to what your vision and mission statement is in life. You look at those goals and ask yourself, which one of those align with what I want to do? There may be things that are on there that have nothing to do with security, agriculture, or real estate. Then you need to ask yourself, is this a means to an end? Or that when I say it's a means to an end, meaning that is it something that you are doing temporarily to give you resources so that you can start working towards the other goal? Or is it an integral part of what it is that you're supposed to be doing right now? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So yes. the most important thing that I want you to take away from this call is this, is that your goal in life is to become the picture of that individual that you have identified in your vision statement. That is your goal. So everything that you are doing is to help you become that. So whenever you see something on your plate or on your table that you're doing, that is not getting you closer to the vision that you have identified as who you want to become, then you need to pause and ask yourself, do I want to continue down this path or is it a means to an end? If it is a means to an end, what I mean by a means to an end is that it is something that you are doing that is, help, that is going to ultimately help you towards or get closer to that vision or that dream that you want to accomplish. If it is not a means to an end and it is not adding direct value to your vision, then it means you should throw it away. I, I, you understand what I'm trying to say? So yes. let, me, let me use, say, Fancy, for example. Fancy said her vision statement or her mission statement is to provide real estate or to is the provision of or empowering people through real estate and godly values. So her goal is to provide affordable housing. It doesn't matter if it is through um, orphanages, if it is through um, selling of properties. The bottom line is that her tool is real estate and godly values. Those are her tools. Now, if somebody now comes and says, eh, fancy, we have this farm. We're trying to do some farming business. Let's say now, because Eunice is very passionate about farming. She comes and says, ah, hey, fancy. God wants us to just address hunger globally. You know, we have to do this. I mean, we are women of virtue. Proverbs 31. This is our calling. We have to do this. You know, we have to start addressing hunger. Here's, it's a great, it's a great cause. But fancy will stop and ask herself, wait a minute. Oh. So by the time I leave housing and I go and start planting beans or selling ginger, what am I trying to get out of it? If at the end of the day, the reason why, the only reason why it typically Francis' response ought to be no. No, I appreciate it. I see what you're trying to do. But if there's any way I can support you, I will support you. But if Fancy looks at that proposition and says, wait a minute, what value is that in for me? Is that... It, that is not part of what I'm supposed to be doing. But if I were to get involved in the farming business, it will provide me resources that I can now use to build properties. Or it can provide me means that I can use to provide affordable housing. Or it will provide me a platform to get recognition in my calling if any of those questions are answered then it is a means to your end so you can consider it if somebody offers fancy a job right now to say hey come and supply us papers that is not her core calling but she knows that if she's to do that thing it will provide her some more resources that she can use to provide housing for orphans it becomes a means to an end. The reason why we needed to go through this exercise 
is so that you can become very clear as to what your core focus ought to be and what is a means to an end. Remember, the means to your end is not something that will take you away from your focus. Rather, it is what it is, a means so that you can be able to do what you want to do. For some of you, it may require you getting a job. For some of you, it may require you doing some things that are not directly correlated to where you want to go. But if you have that mindset that what you are doing is a means to an end, then you will continue to develop yourself in that area that is your end. You will continue to stay cognizant and continue to stay abreast with the things going on in that means to the end. But ultimately, everything is supposed to push you in line so that by the time you are 50 you're 60 there should be nothing else you're doing in life but be known as that person in the center of the industry that you think is the area of your calling is that making sense yes sir. Mm -hmm. good so i just wanted you to know that so tonya i think we're clear as to what you should be doing fancy we're clear as to what you should be doing um Eunice, we're clear as to what you need to be doing. So now, let's talk about Marlon. Marlon posted here, and I want to use that. There's a, why I'm discussing all of this with all of you on the call is so that as we're talking about somebody else's, you can gain or learn one or two things from there. Okay? And as we're discussing it, I'll be inferring to things that are not directly correlated to you. Um, to the discussion, but you learn from it. Marlon says his mission is to develop leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning that will drive success in their lives. All right. His vision is to inspire underserved youth to reach their full potential by providing them with educational and recreational programs that will help them develop tools to be successful in life. Okay, Marlon, two things. I like the mission statement. I will tweak it just a little bit. Instead of saying to develop leaders, I will say developing leaders. Are you following me, Marlon? Yes. I will say developing leaders through soccer by or while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning to drive success in their lives. Okay. Because there are too many, it, there are so many, there are so many, I'll say, I will say developing leaders through soccer while, or developing leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning towards success in life. Okay, towards success in life. Developing leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning towards success in life. All right, you got that, Marlon? Yes, sir. Good. The vision. What is the final picture you want to see? What is the final picture you want to see? You said to inspire underserved youth to reach their full potential by providing them with educational and recreational programs. All that, all that the things that you do to get there should, should be part of your mission. Okay? Your focus on the vision side of things has to do with the final picture. So I would say,
a purveyor of inspiring underserved youth to reach their full potential by providing them so by providing them a provider of or a provider a provider of educational okay marlon get this please get this i'm playing with words now but follow me a okay pro a provider of educational and recreational programs that inspires underserved youth to reach their full potential. Okay. Can you repeat that for me, please? So you said, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Okay. Says a provider of educational and recreational programs that inspires underserved youth to reach their full potential. There you go. Oh, you can put their full potential. Full potential, we know it's life we're talking about, so that is redundant. Um, okay. So take, take that. Think about it. Sure. Take that. Think about it. I, I, I think a lot of times the simpler the better. Um, we have so much we want to pack in there. And in the process of packing so much information in these things, we tend to lose focus. So okay. all I hear you say, Marlon, is your goal is very simple. You want to use soccer, transformational and recreational learning as a means to transform the lives of young people so that they can become successful in life. That is all you said with your, with your mission statement. Right. Ultimately, what do you want to become? You want to become either a provider or if I were you, since I, I, I can say I want to become the leading provider. You see, when I say I want to be the leading provider of educational and recreational programs, because when you use things like recreational programs, you have gone beyond soccer because there are other things that will come in. Basketball is going to come in. Golf is going to come in. Volleyball is going to come in. All right. Mm -hmm. So I want to be a leading provider of educational and recreational programs that inspire underserved youth to reach their full potentials in life, period. That is a simple statement. Anybody that hears that knows what you're talking about. That this is where I'm going, to become the leading provider. If you don't like the word provider, you can use purveyor. You can use whatever word works for you, all right? But okay. you, or you can say, I want to be the leader of you know, whatever works for you, you pick whatever works for you. But that's the framework that we're going towards because words, the way we arrange words sometimes give clarity and it gives motivation. All right? Yes. So does everybody have an answer to what they're working towards? So let me do this, Marlon. Um, I want to be sure that I put this out for the benefit of everyone. So we said your mission statement is let me copy this here uh, mission statement is to is to be a developer or developing leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformation and recreational learning towards success is that what we said success in life 
Yes. Is that it's all it? Success in life. Yes. Okay. So that is the vision statement. Uh, so I said the same thing. Developing leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning towards success in life. Good. Vision. Okay, let me do this here because I want to make sure that it becomes clear to vision to become a to become the leading or a leading whichever one you prefer it's, it's up to you if you want to be the leader you can be the leader or you want to become a leading okay Uh, I'll use provider for now. You can change the words if you like. Okay. To become the leading provider of of educational and recreational programs that inspire underserved youth to what's the word to reach their to reach their full potential their full potentials all right so i just put yours out there as well okay that mission developing leaders through soccer while engaging them in transformational and recreational learning towards success in life. Okay. Then the vision is to become the leading provider of educational and recreational programs that inspire underserved youth to reach their full potential in life. You've just said what you're currently doing and where you're ultimately going. Okay. Does that, does that, make sense to you yes okay good so each of you please take those take these things that we've talked about we are going to be back in class today is the 13th we're going to be back in class for five for four of you um marlon i'm going to add you to the list that we've checked you off so for four of you that we've completed yours you're going to be offline next week. You don't have to join us in class next week. Use the time so that you can join us next week and then begin to use that time to work on, remember the goals that you came up with for this year. Use the time to start tying your goals to vision. Just an hour and come. Uh, Victor Mitchell, you just came in one hour late and you're disturbing us. Okay, start working on tying your goals to your vision and mission statements. Remember, there are some goals that you identified at the beginning of the year that we talked about that you've been working on. Now, start tying those goals as, remember what I told you, they're either a means to the end or a part of the end. Does that make sense? Some things that you're doing right now, some of those goals, they're either a means to the end, meaning that they are part of what you're supposed to be doing ultimately, or they are what you should be doing ultimately. So begin to identify where it is, but remember that if what you are doing is a means to an end, then it means that depending on the amount of time it takes from you, you ought to be doing other things to develop yourself towards that end. All right? So never lose sight of that. I just want to remind you about that. So 
Tonya, congratulations. We have a final thing. Fancy. Very, very proud of you. Eunice, excellent work. Marlon, you're the man. Victor, how is your daughter doing? <laughs> they traveled. I just, they, and they are just getting back to the house after almost two weeks. So I went to get them. All sorry. right. Sorry. Um, so, Victor, so I'm so Tonya, Fancy, Dennis, Marlon. Um, if you need to drop from the call, that's okay. If you want to stay up and listen a little bit, that's fine. Um, but just remember, for those of you who are, for four of you, the next time you're going to be in class will be two weeks from now. Please make sure you complete those assignments because I'll be touching base with you. We're going to be discussing those during the group. Um, as you begin to think about um, the goals and how they align with your calling, let me know. Let's start discussing those things in the group. It's too quiet in the group because when you're not talking in the group, I have nothing to contribute. I don't want to be pulling you. When I see things in the group, I'll speak to it. If there's nothing in the group, if everybody's on vacation, uh, myself, I'll go on my own vacation. You know, we have nice places to go to in Omaha, believe it or not, to surprise many of you. Um, so you will be back in class two weeks from today. Remember, our sessions are at the same time, so I will see you all in class at that time. Victor, you can stay back on the line. Let's try and walk yours today since you're here so that we can get you on the same page with everybody. So fancy, Eunice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. All right, you can call me later. Thank you. All right, you, um, fancy, you don't need to call me back again. I think we got you all sorted out, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So Victor, let's talk. Anybody that wants to stay and listen to Victor and give him a hard break, <laughs> please feel free to stay. So, Victor, mm -hmm. ah. let me pull yours here because your own, in fact, your own, your own things is always, your things are always different. You didn't give me an update, so um, I will go back to the last one that you posted. You said your mission is you seek to find non-conventional solutions to problems, economic and social, plaguing the African continent and her people by challenging certain norms with cerebral engagements. Okay. Your vision, you said, was to become the go-to organization or individual in Africa to identify issues, find solutions, and shape culture. I am very okay with the vision to become the go-to organization or to become the go-to individual in Africa to identify, solve, and shape cultures. I will say, I will say, if you ask me, Victor, I will say, instead of saying find solutions, I will say resolve or solve. And she uh, but first, um, I'll take out the organization part. Since we, I remember the last conversation we had, you said I should replace the we to I and then take out the organization to becoming individual. So, exactly. We, okay. okay. So you, you can shoot for that. So that way it becomes very personable. So it will be to become... Sorry, we saw I heard it clearly. Okay, repeat. I, I, I will also post it in the group. So the vision is... Uh-oh. Um, I took the wrong person's own. So copy. The vision is to, so if we're talking about the vision, is to become the go-to individual or the go-to person, whichever you want to prefer or you prefer, okay? The go -to person is better, I think. You say what? Person is better. Person. To become the go-to person in Africa to identify, to become the go-to person in Africa for, I would, if it were me, I would say for the identification, comma, 
the identification and resolution of issues, um, issues and cultures. What is the tie, Victor? Um, uh, for me, the, for, 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 for cultures, I'm, I'm actually looking at uh, values. You know, you talk about values. Okay. So basically, that's, that's the area I'm looking at. Not just solving problems, but much more than that, in line with certain values. Okay. So ultimately, the goal is to shape culture. Is that what you're saying? No, 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 no. The, you've already read the, 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 the main point. To become the go-to person in Africa for the identification and uh, resolution of, well, there was one word you used, I think I missed it. But why I added the part, shape cultures, uh, these days, almost everything is becoming new. Um, we, are, we are gradually losing the time-tested principles which shape some of which basically helps us become who we are today. If we don't hold on to those values, those norms, we might lose them even in the face where we are trying to solve social problems. That's basically yep. uh, the point that I'm trying to make. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. And you, you're a very smart man. You can take what I said and just walk around it. You know, it all comes down. It's not just semantics, but it also um, gives meaning. So the vision is to become the go-to person for shaping culture and the identification and resolution of issues in Africa. Okay, the go to become the go-to person, organization, whichever it is that you prefer, for shaping culture, comma, and the identification and resolution of issues in Africa. Um, because here, here's why I'm using, I'm, I'm specifically rephrasing the words. The place you want to focus on solving problems is Africa. But tomorrow, you might be living in the UK. So if you say you want to become the go-to person in Africa, you have already put yourself in a box, but you are not pointing to what the issues you're trying to resolve are based. So what you're saying is that I want to become the go-to person for the resolution, for the identification and resolution of problems, uh, the, the resolution of issues in Africa. You don't understand what I'm Irrespective of where my location Irrespective, is. Irrespective, there you go. Irrespective of where I am. Okay? So you could be living in China, but you will still be the go to person for solving problems in Africa. True. All right, so I'll just leave that there. You can play with it whichever way you prefer. You can rearrange it if it is, you want to reorganize the words, but I, I think that structure will help you, but feel free to move the words around as you deem necessary. Hmm? I think this is perfect, but uh, let's go back to the first, uh, the mission statement. So let's go back to the mission statement <laughs> because there's grammar issue going on there. We see why... Uh -huh non-conventional solutions all right so if i were you i would say providing i will just play with words till we get something that makes sense providing non-conventional solutions to economic social and cultural problems problems 
problems plaguing the African continent and her people by challenging by challenging um, what type of norms that you say certain when you say certain what specific norms are these there, cultural, there are my mental yeah cultural exactly some cultural some mental certain things that has held us back okay we are not moving forward because we are still holding on to certain beliefs that are not no longer relevant in the age and time in which we are. What does ce cerebral mean? Because that word is basically quite... just, just basically it's just brain. <laughs> okay, because that's what I was trying to understand. So I, I, if I will say, providing non-conventional solutions. to economic, social, and cultural problems plaguing the African continent and its people, and its people by challenging traditional norms with cerebral engagement. Your goal is to give clarity to what problem you're trying to solve, what you're using to solve it, and how you're solving it. You understand my point? Basically, yeah. what I'm doing, people need to understand that. That's simplicity. So if you're saying my mission statement is providing non-conventional solutions, first of all, you're saying that the type of solutions you're providing are not the norm they are not normal exactly so, okay okay so you say providing non-conventional solutions to economic you're addressing the areas you your focus on economic social and cultural problems plaguing the african continent and its people by challenging this is how you're going about it so first of all, you're saying, this is what I'm doing. This is where I am focused on. These are my targets, the people and the continent. And this is how I am fixing this problem by challenging social, economic, cultural. You have basically summed that up to tradition. Okay. Traditional yeah. norm with, with cerebral engagement okay so if it, cerebral and it's nice but if i were you i think i would still play around with that word cerebral engagement to something simpler mental mindset brain power brain power exactly, exactly. You know, mindset. um human capital words that are simpler because don't forget your mission statement your mission statement is not for you. It is always an outward statement. The one that is for you is your vision statement. That is the one that is for you. Your mission statement is for somebody like me or for somebody like Angela to hear that and know this is what he does. Do you understand my point? This is who he is. This, this is what value he brings. So, I will say you should, I, I will post this out again, like I did with everybody's own in the group, but I will put the cerebral engagement in parenthesis so that you will be able to have that and look at it and, you know, probably figure out how you can try to just play around that. But I think ultimately- so We can take it out, like I said, we can put it, we can replace it with the word brain power. There you go. Simple. Changing traditional uh, norms with brain power, basically. Good. Or with a renewed mindset. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay. 
So you can do that. Let me just, because that will be consistent. So you can just say it with, so let me pause this here with a, re, with a renewed mindset. And I'm posting it to the group so that you have it there. So yeah. it basically says your, your, your mission is to, because that's ultimately what you're trying to do. You're just trying to change the way people think. So yeah. providing yeah. non-conventional solutions to economic, social, and cultural problems that are plaguing the African continent and its people by challenging traditional norms with a renewed mindset. Period. Yeah. The yeah. vision. Thank you. To become Thank you. the go-to person for shaping culture and identific and the identification and resolution of issues in Africa. Simple and short. That is what you're trying to do. Because when you're changing mindsets, you are changing cultures. All right? True. True. Good. Thank you, sir. Well done. That one will cost you three thousand dollars. <laughs> All right, just like, I said, just like I said with everyone else, now you need to start doing the next piece of the assignment, which is okay. you need to start working on tying your goals. Remember all those goals that, we, we, that you identified? Now you need to start tying those two goals and asking yourself, all these goals that I'm working on, are they in alignment with my life's vision, with where I am trying to go? Are they in alignment? Are they adding value? Now, there are two types of goals that you will have, or you have two types of activities that you engage. Some of the activities are what I call means to the end, and some of them are part of the end. The means to the end are things that you do that are not directly correlated to your vision or your mission in life, but they provide a platform, resources, or tools that you need to accomplish that goal. Do you understand what I'm saying? So okay. you need to start categorizing those goals. Which ones are a means to the end? Which ones are an integral part of the end? You have to arrange them in a specific order to make sure that you know the ones that you need to do that will ultimately get you to where you need to be. So please spend between now, two weeks from today, our next class is going to be on the 14th, on the 24th, no, not 24th, on the 27th. Today is the, today is the 13th. So two weeks from today is our next class. That is for those of you who... For those who did not make the call, they have to be on this call with me one-on-one -on -one so that I can address their issues as well. So I will say we already have a vision statement for you, Victor. All right, so I'm, yes, going, to, I'm going to check your name off as well. So you need to start working on that piece of it. Start working on tying your Can goal. we send it as an email or we should post it on the WhatsApp uh, Line? Should we send it as an email? No, 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 no. Start working on it. Start working on it. Okay. Okay. Start working on it. Um, take between now and next week to work on it. Make sure everything is done. Then I will, we can discuss it in the group, like I said, with every person else then. But I will need that submitted before the next class in two weeks. So I will just communicate that. I will communicate that in the group as well. But I'm just sharing what you need to start working on so that you can be ready for the class, for the next class, which is two weeks from now, okay? Okay, so the, the goals that are means to the end and the one that are part, uh, the, the second word, the second- The ones that are, are, in, uh, are directly related or are integral parts of the end. Okay. 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 All right, does that give you what you need, sir? But if I, yes, sir. But one more, one quick uh, question or clarification. I remember the last time you said if we, we if we achieve the main goal, every other goal just literally aligns. So you focus on 
basically the finance and then which in turn will begin to pay for the other one so if i want to look at this basically we are saying focus on the business once it's able to form the other thing then you begin to focus on what you are doing or if you are able to create multiple streams of income from investments and all of that mm -hmm. it gives you the power now to do what you really want to do okay so in that case remember everybody's situation is different like in your case for instance the question you're right like in your case for instance right now the work that you are doing is an in, from that's from my understanding the work that you are doing is an integral part of solving african problems true is it not true true okay good so when i say things like that you know everybody's situation is different there are those who let's say for instance my my calling is to be in government i believe my calling is to be in government. Let's say, for instance, that's it. But today, I am not a politician. I am not in politics. I am not holding any political involvement. I am not part of any political party. But I know that ultimately what I want to do is to be in government. But right now, I am a banker or a farmer. You understand? Why am I farming or banking today? I'm farming or banking today because I have a wife and two children that need to eat and go to school. We have to provide shelter. But that does not change my calling. So what do I do? It simply means I must begin to see my job as a banker or my business as a farmer as a means to an end. So instead of sitting down, working 40 hours a week just so that I can have enough money to buy school books, feed the children, parents, I need to start thinking of how can I start aligning myself with politics while I am using my banking or farming as a platform or a springboard towards that end. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, yes, as sir. I begin to do that, maybe what I need to do right now is to start networking with current politicians. Maybe I need to go become a registered member of a political party, or I need to start in my free time taking classes that will align me with that policy. What are the things that I can do from my current venue, my current location that will start getting me towards that? For some of you, it may be that I want to become, um, you know, I, an educator, but right now I can, I have contacts that will allow me to do business. I have contacts that will allow me to be doing business and contracts and things like that, that will provide me resources, that will get me the 10 million, the 20 million, the 100 million that I need for that business long term. So I can be working on those projects but I must have it at the back of my mind that the project is not the end of the road. It is a means to an end. My ultimate goal, yeah. my ultimate goal is to become a provider of solutions for the entire African continent. So even though I am doing business today, the business is supposed to provide resources that I will need so that I can become. Do you see what I'm trying to say? So, yes, that's sir. I said it is important. I'm not saying everybody should go and be doing business or focus on, no, no, no. Everybody's situation is different. Now, the next phase, you've identified your vision statement, it is clear. You've identified your mission statement, it is clear. What is the vision statement? The vision statement is where you're going. The mission statement is what you need to do to get there, period. All right? So now, how do you get there is a different thing based on your situation. Where am I today? Today, okay, let's say my goal, let's, let's use the analogy that I was using earlier. My goal or my, 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 my vision is to become the go-to person for shaping culture and identifying, identif for, for shaping culture and the identification and resolution of in Africa. Am I there yet? No, it is where I'm trying to go. How am I going to get there? 
I will get there wow. providing non-conventional solutions to economic, social, and cultural problems, plaguing the African continent and its people by challenging norms with a renewed mindset. How many people know me to be that? Not many people. What do I need to do so that I can become that? Maybe right now I need to be doing some contract work with NNPC, talking to some other people, attending conferences, getting an education, getting my name out there, having um, platform speaking engagement. All those things are added on. Do you understand my point? So that's why I said, now that you've identified your mission and your vision, the next thing you need to do is to go back and look at those goals, the things you want to accomplish and ask yourself, do these things align with where I'm going? If they align, then keep them. If they don't align, then ask yourself, is this a means to an end? If it, not, if it does not align with where you're going, and if it is not a means to an end, then it means that you don't even need it. It means it's a waste of your time or it is a distraction. Are, are you seeing where I'm going with this, Victor? Yes, sir. Exactly. Yes, sir. So there are three things you're going to identify. Now that you know where you're going, there are three things you're going to identify in your list. You will identify what I call an integral part of your vision. An integral part of your vision. That means they are part of what you're supposed to be doing. Number two, you will identify things called a means to the end, with the end being your vision, of course. And then number three, you will identify things called distractions. Things that you think you need, but you don't need them. Because they're not taking you anywhere closer to your vision. So those are the things that I said now you need to go work on. You need to now go back and sit down and look at all the things that you set out as your vision, the things you want to accomplish. Those are the first things we started talking about in January. These are the things I want to accomplish. Now, ask yourself, are these things an integral part of my vision? Are they a means to an end? Or are they just a distraction? Things that I'm busy pursuing that does not add value to me at the end of the day. <laughs> Do you see what I'm trying to say now? Yes, sir. Good. So, so that you can be focused. All right? Yes, sir. Okay, so go and start doing work. Next, Angela. Thank you, sir. Thank you're you, welcome. Sir. Angela, you said your mission statement is raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in all spheres of influence. Okay. Raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in all spheres of influence, how? What are you using to raise them? Your line, I can't hear you, my, your line is muted. So, all right, so, and you said your vision statement is to become the most accessible microfinance outfit to empower and grow business ideas. There are, I can't hear you, Ma. It's either your, your line is not plugged in or can anybody else hear Angela if it's just me? Victor, can you hear her? I can't hear her. Ma, we can't hear you at all. Your, li your line is not muted. Your line is open, but now I can hear you. Can you hear me? We can hear you now. Oh. Yes. Yeah. All right. So while you're sorting that out, let me tell you a few things, Ma. Number one. There, there are two things. You are talking about raising people, and I think that that's where the disconnect is. Your mission statement is succinct, it is clean, it makes sense. 
but two things. It is too broad and it is not telling us where, in which sphere. Because you said raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in all aspects, of, of, in all spheres of influence. So if what I am hearing is correct, if what I am hearing is correct or what I'm understanding is correct, you are saying that your focus is to raise up future leaders. Leadership is what you're focusing on. Is that a true statement? Okay. Miss Angela, can you hear me? Mrs. Obona, can you hear me? I can see you, but I can't hear you at all. Okay. Since you, I can, you can hear me, and I, I, I can't hear you, but you can hear me, so maybe I should keep talking then you and I will have to talk one-on-one -on -one later. Your mission statement says raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in all spheres of influence. I like that. Let me tell you why I say I like that. Number one, you talk about raising. That talks about mentoring, talks about coaching, talks about empowering. And your focus is clear. You are focused on young people, a specific age range. You're talking about the next generation of leadership. And then your focus is that, or your goal is to mentor these young people into leaders, irrespective of their industry. Okay? So the mission statement is very solid. I like it. It makes sense. Here's where I have a problem. Here's where I have a problem, because the mission statement cannot be too far away from the vision statement. The vision statement has to be a summation, has to be a culmination or the final destination of the vision statement. Okay? So the vision statement, however, is saying to become the most accessible microfinance outfit to empower and grow business ideas. So here are two things. You are saying that your focus is to mentor people, empower them, educate them, enable them so that they can become leaders in all spheres of life. But when you're talking about your vision, you're saying you want to become an accessible microfinance outfit, which means you have narrowed down your focus to one industry, the financial industry. That has nothing to do with what you were saying earlier. Now, if you had said, if you had said, right? If you had said, raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in the business arena. If you had said that, then it makes sense that you want to become the most accessible microfinance to empower and grow business ideas. Why? Because when you started out doing what you're doing, it is focused on business. But you said in all spheres, that means in banking, in, in government, in education, you want to coach, your, your focus is to mentor people in business. I mean, to mentor people to go and succeed in whatever they're doing in life. But at the end of the day, you're now saying you want to become the most accessible microfinance outfit. Okay? So if that is the case, you need to choose. Am I trying to do my, am I trying to focus on the microfinance world, which is the business world, or am I focusing generally on mentorship, education, and empowerment? That is the only disconnect I see here. So if you ask me and I'm not you and I'm not you, so I can I can have, I can only show you what the problems are. That the mission statement, again, I've said this and I'm saying it again so that you hear me, is solid, raising confident 
young people for future leadership, the question is where? Is it in all spheres? Or is it in the finance and business industry? If it is in the finance and business industry, then you need to say raising future leaders for leader or for future or, or raising young people for leadership for future leadership in the finance and business spheres. Okay? Then in that case, your vision statement makes sense that I want to become the most successful microfinance outfit to empower and grow business ideas. They merge, they, they, they connect. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're raising leaders, business people, ultimately, so that they can be able to get into the business and financial industry, but ultimately, we want to be a purveyor of that financial footing that they need. That's, that's what it's saying. So what if you ask me is throwing off what you're saying off balance is all spheres. So if I were you, I will say in the financial, or I'll just simple, just keep it simple and say in the, keep it simple. I will say raising confident and independent young people for future leadership in business. Period. Raising confidence, that means you're mentoring people. That's all you're doing. You're mentoring people for leadership in business. Raising confidence and independent young people for, for leadership, for future leadership in business. Vision to become the most accessible microfinance outfit to empower and grow business ideas. All right. So that to me has a lot more alignment. That means your focus is not mentoring or education. It is actually business. So I will ask you, I've posted it in the group as well. You go look at it, play around with it a little bit more. And ultimately what you want to do is to, um, ultimately what you want to do is to make sure that what it is that you're working towards makes sense to you. Because I, I, like I said to everybody else, I don't want you to just take my words verbatim um, and run with it. I want you to be able to look at it and say, okay, this makes sense to me. This is where I'm going. Because at the end of the day, it's you that will have to do it, not me. All right? All right. Angela, does that answer your question, Ma? If I know I can't hear you. Does that, is, you can give me a thumbs up that yes, we're good. No, we're not. All right, now you know the next steps. The next steps is that you're supposed to go and be working. You're supposed to go and be working on your assignments. Remember, you, you, on the, you heard me talk to Victor about the same thing, so you know what to do. You need to start aligning your assignment. You need to start aligning your goals to see that does it align with where you're going. All those goals that you listed, all the things you want to accomplish, do they align, do they get you closer to where you're going as your vision? Remember your vision is where you're going. Your mission is how you're getting there. All right? Um, Angela, I would do something more with mine if I were you. Because you said raising confidence, confident in the, uh, independent young people. I will probably say something to think about while you're thinking through it. I'll probably say something like, 
um, because you're off what I because you're offering some kind of a service or products or something. You know what? Never mind. That that is fine. That is broad enough. That is that's broad. Enough. So I will go work with that. Go work on that a little bit more. I'm posting all these things. I'm not saying just take it verbatim and run with it. Take it, think through it, and ask yourself because. 30 years from now, 50 years from now, if somebody comes and introduces you as we want to welcome to the stage, you know, Mrs. Angela Obona, you know, known to be um, the most, the leader or the owner of the most successful microfinance outfit that empowers business ideas. Are you, will you be satisfied that that is all your life is all about? If that is it, then you're on the right track. If there has to be more to it, then it will have to evolve over time. All right? So it's imperative, it's important for you to know what exactly it is that you're working on because I want to see each of you. So this first year, we're just spending time teaching you all the rudiments, the basics. From next year is when you're going to start doing the practical work. That means if you tell me that you're a provider of problems in Africa, you have to come every month to show us the problems you've solved. It's not, it's not about having quotes. It's about delivering on the thing that you said. And that's why I'm spending my time to teach you, to train you, to mentor you, to empower you so that you can go and do All right? So spend some time, think about it. Go work on your assignment. Your assignment will fall into three categories. As you look at your goals, your goals are going to become things that are integral to your vision. There will be things that are a means to the end, meaning that those things that you say you want to accomplish your goals, are they part of the vision? Are they just things that will help you get closer to the vision? Or are they a distraction? Only one of those three categories. So start working on identifying those, and then we'll take it up from there. I will leave a question, then you'll be able to post that um, in the group. So with your case settled, we'll, I will be active in the group because there'll be a lot of discussions and engagement. Um, but you don't have to be in class until two weeks from today, which is on the 20th. The next time we're go you're going to be in class will be on the 27th of April. All right? So if you have any questions, let me know, or we'll talk a little bit in the group. Fumi, are you on the line? Yes, I am. Right. You came late to class today. All of you, three of all, all three of you right now that I'm looking at, you're all late. <laughs> well, class started right on time. You weren't here. That was why. Uh, yeah, the last link you said, it sent, well, like, you expired April 6th, so I'm actually expecting a new link. You're on the same link right now. Everybody's in class. You... You just came in. Oh, yeah. That's that's it. All right. So let's go back to your vision statement and your mission statement. Um, I will go to the most recent one that you posted, and that's where we're gonna go from. I was expecting you to post something new, but since I didn't say anything like that, I will just go with the last one that you posted. All right, the last one that you said that you posted here says, improving the quality of services provided by re-engineering processes faced in policy transition making dynamics. I don't know what you just said. I'm sorry, I'm just being blocked. You said, improving the quality of services provided by re-engineering processes faced in policy slash decision-making dynamics. What does that mean? Just explain to me so that I can understand what you're saying. Fumi, are you there? Miss Fumi, are you there? Yes, I am. Okay. Let's 
Can you please hurry up? I, ha I have to be off of this. I, w I only wanted to be here for two hours. I need to be off of the line the next 12 minutes. So please hurry up. Are you there, Mrs. Fumi? Yes, I am. Okay. Okay. So just can I answer the question again? What were you, what do you mean by your vision? Explain your mission and vision. Explain to me, please. Okay. Um, what I meant was that I um, love providing solutions to problems and challenges faced through process dynamics and making it better. That's taking projects to completion, proving the quality of services provided, and helping people engineer their processes face. I was looking at great areas and to see how we can improve the processes to make things better. Basically, bringing out the best out of any established process and giving them the best. Mm. Okay. So, improving the quality of services. All right, can we say, can we say re-engineering re-engineering let me rephrase this re-engineering policy re-engineering policy and decision making processes to improve the quality of service. Here's what you said. You said improving the quality of services provided by re-engineering, improving the quality of services provided by re-engineering processes faced in policy decision-making dynamics. Can we simplify it by saying re-engineering the re-engineering policy and decision-making processes to improve service quality or the quality of services. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, the quality of service. So ultimately what you're trying to improve is the quality of service. Is that a yes or no? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so you're trying to improve the quality of service, but your way of doing that is to re-engineer the way that decisions are being made. Yeah. Is that correct? If I'm wrong, please correct me. You're, you're correct. Improving okay. the process. Okay, yeah. so what you're focused on doing is re-engineering policy and decision-making processes. Processes, yeah. Okay. To improve the quality of services. To improve the quality of service or, this, or to improve... To improve service quality, which, uh, you know, okay, the, the quality of services. Yes, either way. All right. Now, what does this tell you? It should tell you the kind of education you should have. It should tell you the kind of things that you should become specialized in. It should tell you the things that you should focus on. You understand? Your goal ultimately is to re-engineer policy. Your goal is to change how decision-making and policy-making happens, you know, by re-engineering the process. So that ultimately, that will end up in qualitative service. All right? Now, mission, vision, meaning ultimately, so if, if I'm to hear that correctly, that will tell me that what your focus should be is the quality of service. So let's look at your vision statement. To make life better for people by having a seat at the table to form policies, to form workable policies. Mm. As what? As a decision maker. 
Be a decision maker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, decision maker. Be a, a policy and, and a decision maker because that's the decision maker. Mm -hmm. Okay. That improves the quality of life to be a, a renowned policy and decision maker. that who um to be a renowned policy slash decision maker focused quality service of policy delivery mm -mm. be a renowned policy slash decision maker to become a renowned policy slash decision maker that's focused or focused on um in, in which area are you trying to focus on when you say quality of service or want to talk about quality of services. Is it in which industry? Are we talking about life generally? Are you talking about business? Are you talking about banking? Are you talking about finance? In which area? I'm actually looking at two places, economy and government. Okay. That's banking, economy, again, financial, and government. Okay. So it is still the public, okay. Is it, okay, let me ask you this. Are you wanting to focus on public sector or private sector? Uh, both. Starting from private sector then, from public sector, which also takes me back to the last um, question I asked in the last class. Like you told me that um, it just um, flows into the other one somewhere. We have to start from a particular scale of influence first. So I'm looking at public, sorry, I'm looking at private, and then public, later and public, basically. To become a renowned public slash private sector policy and decision maker focused on a higher quality of life, on providing, on, uh, this is, Let's take out all this garbage. Be a renowned. So basically, you want to become a renowned private slash public sector policy and decision maker. Okay. Um, so I posted something here for your mission. It says re engineering policy and decision making processes to improve the quality of services. Okay. Then the vision is to be a renowned public slash private sector policy and decision maker. Because when ultimately that's where you want to get to. But for you to get to that point that you're renowned in the public and private sector, you must have gone through the process or you must have offered services that re-engineer the framework that shape outcomes for people. Is that making any sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so remember like everybody else that I said, this is not final. I'm just giving you what I think makes sense. But I want you to take what I have said or what we have discussed and go work on it. 
work on it, shape it up, take out things if you need to take out, put things in if you need to put in. But don't forget, the mission statement is supposed to clearly communicate to people that this is what I do or this is what I'm doing. The vision statement is very personal. That is where you are going to. Okay? That is where you're going to. So it is, if, if, if that is clear, take that. I've posted it in the group as well. Take that as your, as your baseline and start working on it. Here's one problem that I see a lot of us face. We want to put in so much into the mission and the vision statement that in the course of doing that, it loses meaning. Keep it simple. Keep it very, very simple. My policy is to, or rather my mission is to re-engineer policy or re-engineering policy and decision-making processes to improve the quality of life. Either to improve the quality of life, or if your ultimate goal is services, then you can say to improve. If I, I think for me, I think I'll say re-engineering policy and decision-making processes to improve the quality of life. I, I think since that might, because when we're talking policy, we're talking you know, um, private public sector type decisions. Um, yeah, right. quality of life. I'll say quality of life, ultimately, because that yeah, covers that's... a lot of things. Because when you yeah. say services, then you are talking about the deliverables by employees. Mm -hmm. Okay? But when you say life, then you are talking about that ultimately what it is that we're trying to give to a specified populace. Mm. So that's one way you can do it. And then vision is to become a renowned public slash private sector policy and decision maker. That's it. Okay. So think about that. If that is what you want to do, then frame it, shape it, and let it stand out for what it is that you want to do. So in the meantime, I will say, like everybody else, go and work on your goals. All those things that you identified as your goals that you want to accomplish, make sure that they fall into three categories. They fall into things that are an integral part of your vision, the things that are directly part of what you want to accomplish, what are the things you're doing today that are, are that what are the means to the end because next when we meet the next time i'm going to talk a lot about this but i want you all to must have identified those things in those groups before that time and then thirdly as you do that you will find out what things are distractions even though you call them goals in reality they're actually distractions from what you should be doing all right so you'll be busy pursuing something not knowing that it is actually leading you further away from where you're supposed to be going and you you thought that you are trying to accomplish 2019 goals you don't know that that is something that you've invested three months on and it just took you took you three months in the opposite direction from where you should really be going all right so with that i will call this class done two hours gone so i will add your name to the list for me check as well done so you so you three of you or four of you i mean all seven of you that i've worked on today you don't have to be in the next class the next class for you will be two weeks from today which is going to be 27th of april april 27th is when you're going to be in class next so um i will touch base in the group to make sure that each of you are working on your assignments and then we'll go from there, okay? But can we be monitoring spirit? You can monitor you want to. We can log in that day and just stay in the background. You are very welcome to do that if you want to. Next Saturday, okay. if, you, if you want okay. to log in next Saturday and listen, you're welcome to. I'm just saying that it's not mandatory, but you're welcome to because okay. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the remaining people. Okay. 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 So if you want Thank to log in, you will still get value from it. You will still learn some things from it as always, because it's not strictly what we're discussing. Sometimes a question will lead us into something that will still add value to you. So if you, exactly. if you, want, to, if you want to come in, then of course, you're absolutely welcome. We're going to use the same line, but for those of you who, uh, who have number one, completed the assignments, number two, have paid up and completed your payments 
to for um, PayDoc and everything, you've met all the requirements, then I think you will receive a link between now and um, that time for the next, um, you get a link to the, the, for the next class because this line is only going to remain for everybody to complete this assignment. Once the assignment is completed, then each of you have to make sure you have a clear vision mission statement, you have paid up on all your financial obligations with regards to PTN and you're ready to move on to the next level and you've done all the assignments and at least I know that you're ready for the next level that will push you up to the next one. If you've done all of that and you do not receive a link by next Saturday with the new, where the new class is going to be happening, then please let, let me know and we'll make sure we communicate that to you. Okay. okay. All right. So thank you, everybody. I need to go now. Do have a blessed day. Thank you, sir. All right. Bye-bye.